Hey, hi, how's it going everyone? I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to be answering questions from you. We are going to be talking about various subjects. It's just going to be a quick Q&A session with, with my audience. By the way, you can tune into these live anytime that I am broadcasting. I will be doing Q&As and they will be cut together in later videos like this. Um, so just remember if you see me going live and you do have a question you want to ask me, feel free to ask me live and I will be happy to answer it live. I'm, I'm excited. How old are you, Ash? Oh, geez. Jeez, don't, don't you know, you're never supposed to ask a coyote their age. Come on. Come on, Jack. In all actuality, though, I am 33. Yeah, I'm getting a little old. I guess I'm officially, by furry standards, a gray muzzle. Ash is a gray muzzle. Do I need, like, a gray muzzle, like, VTube avatar now? Is that what's gonna happen? Because I don't know if I want that. Um, let's, let's, let's say Ash is perpetually... 27. Jack Moulton has a question. Hey, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food uh, when I'm not on my vegan diet is sushi. I love sushi so freaking much. Sushi is like the best thing ever. Oh my god. Do I play any rhythm games? Well, you know what? I do actually. I play Beat Saber. I really enjoy Beat Saber. It's a kind of a fun exercise meets rhythm game, and I'll probably play that on stream at some point. Though I will be honest, I am not a good Beat Saber player. I am actually possibly one of the worst <laughs> as it tends to go. I feel like watching video games with Ash is always kind of like, yikes, yeah. Hey Ash, what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is, of course, Eevee, because Eevee looks like a cute little fox. I mean, I know there's Vulpix and stuff too, but I really like Eevee. Eevee is so cute. Plus, you get awesome evolutions. You can, like, make Eevee all sorts of kind of foxes. You can make Eevee a water fox, a fire fox, an electrocuted fox. I mean, any kind of fox you ever wanted. Kenneth, uh, what pronouns do you use, Ash Coyote? Um... I don't want to say the wrong pronouns. Well, I am she, her, um, or they, them. I tend to kind of float between non-binary and trans femme. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm transgender, so uh, I'd appreciate you using she, her if you can. Here's a really good question. Um, one, one that regrettably I'm going to have to say that we won't be able to, but are you and Chip going to MFF this year? Well, we were planning on going to MFF. We originally had flights and a hotel room for MFF, but unfortunately we had to cancel MFF just because of all the stress and everything going on in the world. It's been one of those those kind of like challenging years for me. I, I've been doing a lot of projects and having to focus on a lot of different things that have just taken up all my energy. And, you know, the, the idea of traveling out to Chicago for a con, um, as fun as they are, just sounded stressful for us this year, so we had to cancel. I'm so happy you got a model from Whimsy. It is so cute. Yes! Oh, oh my god, it's so cute. I love this model so much. It's one of my favorites. I, I'm actually really excited because she's adding in uh, hand tracking soon. That'll be a thing. Yeah. Oh, you have a Twitch. Mm-hmm. I do have a Twitch. Um, Twitch slash Ash Coyote. I'm pretty sure it's Twitch slash Ash Coyote. If it's not, well then... Go follow them anyways because they're awesome because they're called Ash Coyote. How do you design a coyote differently from foxes, wolves, dingoes, or other dogs? Well, I mean, like, when you're designing a coyote character, I think the important thing to always remember is coyotes are just triangles. We're, we're the Dorito dogs of, of, you know, like, the canids. So, like, a coyote should have kind of, like, very angular markings, I think. And remember, they kind of exist in that tan and red space. So they're, they're different than a fox and different than a wolf in that they're kind of, like, the in-between size. We're, like, if you took a fox and a wolf and combine the two, it's a coyote, not a wolf. Aha! See? Ah, uh, yeah. How did you manage to produce your first film? Well, that is a great question, actually. Uh, my first film I produced, um, I think, back in 2011 or 2012. It was about the making of the worst movie ever made. Um, and how did I produce it? Well, I kind of worked with a team of individuals. So I had originally thought about going to film school and I had gotten accepted out um, at a prestigious film school on the West Coast. And then I decided not to go because I got some advice from one of the teachers. They essentially told me, hey, you're already working in the film industry. That's something that most film school grads can't 
really say that they'll ever do. You should just go out and make whatever project you want to. And so I had been kind of looking around locally to me in Colorado and I had uh, found a few indie filmmakers and I just started working with them and we ended up producing a film that was pretty cool and pretty fun and a lot of work too. I mean, big surprise in case you didn't know, uh, films are a lot of work. <laughs> I just watched The Phantom the second time but this time with my mom and she said that it was really eye-opening for her and understands why I'm a part of the fandom a lot more now. Thank you so much for making that film. You know, thank you so much for watching it. That, that film was a labor of love for me. Um, I know I've talked about it a lot on and off on my channel, but like it certainly had a lot of ups and downs in the production and we, we made it just because we wanted people to know why we liked the fandom too. Um, a lot of folks get tied up in the misconceptions, and I think there are a lot of misconceptions about furries out there. Some which hold water and others that don't, <laughs> you know? You know how it goes. You know, like, I, I think the most important thing and the thing that I always try and really drive home to folks is the fandom is whatever you make out of it. So it's like, it's, it's a completely individualistic experience. It's not really like any one thing. Like for some people, maybe this is like a quote unquote kink, but for most people, this is just like a social group, a gathering, something fun where you all can hang out and have a good time. Because hey, we're furries and we're, 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 we're really weird. I mean, I'm like super weird. I, I'm, I'm possibly like the weirdest person on the planet. I don't know. Whenever I'm sad, I watch one of your videos. Oh my goodness. That means so much to me, really. Like I'm, I'm glad that I can actually have some form of positive influence because I know it can be like really challenging to keep that upbeat persona, <laughs> especially when you're going through depression like I have um, in the past. And like that, that's just, <sighs> That's one of the things that I deal with on the daily. And I, I want to kind of like work on, work on that, work on that a little bit, I guess. Depression and anxiety are the worst. It's true, it's true. And I know a lot of folks in the fandom deal with both depression and anxiety and that that's, that's rough. But um, you know, like the best thing that you can do, really the best thing that you can do is try and keep moving forward. Try and, you know, like stay happy and positive and yeah, you know, like, like do your best, do your best. Question, what's your opinion on NSFW for your, I mean, my opinion um, on anything really in the fandom is simply that the fandom is is a unique group of individuals. We are part of the queer community. I mean, there's going to be NSFW sides of everything. And honestly, I don't see a problem with it so long as those things are kept in the appropriate space and not just, you know, like, like made the sole identity of any given community. I mean, like that's, that's really the honest truth. Guess what? People, people are weird um, and that's okay. And you know, like it's not our job to judge people for that weirdness. It's our job just to be ourselves and have fun. Let's see, what's my favorite Beatles album or song? So I'm actually gonna do you one better. I'm gonna tell you my favorite Beatles film because I'm like actually a sucker for the Beatles films and which you haven't seen them, they're kind of strange, but my favorite Beatles film is Help. Just because it's so weird. Ringo Starr gets like a, a ring stuck on his finger and then it means that he's supposed to be like sacrificed to some weird religious cult. It is one of the strangest films you'll ever see. It's like 1970s surrealism and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so weird. Any tips for going to a convention? Yes, yes, I have a lot of tips for going to conventions. That's like a whole video in itself. I suppose just like a brief version of that though, since this is a Q&A, bring, uh, bring a solid, solid wardrobe of clothes uh, because you will be uh, needing to change your clothes quite frequently, I think, at cons, uh, mostly because cons are just like cramped spaces with lots of people and like people get smelly in those spaces. So it's always nice to have fresh clothes. Always shower, don't be that musky husky because hey musky huskies they're gross don't be a musky husky also remember <laughs> um have fun have fun that's that's like the best thing i don't know i don't know what is your favorite color uh my favorite color is purple i love purple purple and pink purple and pink are my two favorite colors that's why my eyes are purple yeah because they're just cute. It's cute, purple's cute. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already, and be sure to remember to tune in to one of my streams here if you do have a question you wanna ask me. Bye, I love you all. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. goodbye.